sneeze, and that thing goes off again in nine minutes. I'm gonna kick you in the mouth. Finish, Pete. It's a lot of my hands now. starts out with Sandy waking up around 4 a.m. to snuggle me and daddy in bed, then wakes up again around 6, which gets me up for the day. I wash my face, brush my hair, and use the restroom. Then when Elvis wakes up, we get daddy up for the day and have family snuggles in bed. <laughs>
Hey, do you know if there are any parties tonight? Uh, yeah. Shit House is having a party. Like the name of that house is Shit House? <coughs> yeah. Or any other houses having parties? No. It's just Shit House. It's pretty far off campus, but said it's gonna be lit. Do you think I could get a ride with you instead? Yeah, if you pay for the lift. And you can have some of our alcohol. Okay. I'll take Seb. Lit. Hmm? I just said, I was like, lit. Yeah. Hello, sister. Um, I'm just getting ready to go to a friend's pregame. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, FaceTime me. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you look so good. Yeah. You look so old. Yeah. yeah. Like, people could come into the uh, parking lot and they would send them right, right out. And I'd like, I was like driving a car full with my whole family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, like a rental car. That's okay. Let's play again. And I was like, it's literally one mile children. Why is it really Yeah. I'm gonna text Franny and see if she's there. Have you been to Shit House before, Seb? Yeah, I've been to like 90 times. Oh my gosh. Hey, Mom. Sorry, did I wake you up? Sorry. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just having a little trouble falling asleep. I think I have like a, like a cold or something. Like a, or maybe like a sinus infection. Yeah. Are you choking something? Yeah, I uh, like, um, I went to a wellness center today, and um, the person gave me this um, some Claritin. But I was thinking, you always say like I should take something with the like the Claritin, like a decongestant or something. Yeah, because remember Claritin done one with the Allegra for you. Right. You do better with Allegra for the antibodies to add the decongestant than you do Allegra D, or you can just use Allegra for the antibodies to kill the virus. Yeah. Um, did Manny win her volleyball game tonight? Dang, that sucks. Do they think they're gonna, do they think they're gonna lose? Dang, that sucks. Yeah. I'm just like not feeling well, uh, and like I'm I'm like coughing a bunch. I'm like, hey, my roommate, and it's just sucky. No, 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 I'm okay. I love you. Sorry for waking you up. Okay. Right. Love you. Good night.
doing all right back there, bud? You all right, bud? Yeah. Sure? You think you're gonna yak? No, I'm not gonna yak, I'm fine. Okay. Just let me know, okay? Let me know if you need a yak, I can pull over. Got it. Can't have you yakking in my car. Do you like being an Uber driver? Um, I'm gonna get to meet interesting people. That's nice. Um, I, if they talk to me. It's okay, you know, it's just a day job. It's just in between, I'm like in between projects right now, so I just figured pick up some cash Well, What kind of projects? Um, I do like experimental theater. Like I'll like go into a place and like perform a piece. Um, it's like you'll like I'll do it in like public spaces without like announcing that a project's happening. So like a flash mob? Yeah, it's like a one man flash mob. Like I'll go into a laundromat and just like throw a bunch of nickels around. And then everyone will be like, ooh, quarters, and then they'll see that they're nickels. <laughs> And they get like, they're like, ah, you know. It's so just you. It's just me. Yeah, well, my friend films it, and then we put it on my YouTube channel. Good friend. Yeah, I mean, I have to pay him a few bucks, but he's a good guy. You, you know YouTube? What about YouTube? I, so you, you should check out my channel. Oh, what, what, what is it? It's, um, here, I think I have some business cards. Uh, box like, is this it up here? Yeah. When I was a kid, this neighborhood was so different. I think I'm depressed. It's just, just so painful. I feel like I'm like floating. Nobody. I wish you were funnier. Are you okay? What? Yes, no, 100% not. You're not okay? What? No, I said I am okay. You're gonna throw up. You're gonna throw up? Yes! No, are you? 100%. No! Here's the thing. Why we throw up? Have you ever noticed? Why do we call it throwing up when it goes down on the ground? Up, it goes down. And then what do we do? We hop, we we pick it back up. What do we do? We put it in the waste packet. And then what happens? Someone picks it up. And then you put it in a bag and someone comes and picks it up. And then what do they do? They throw it in the thing. They don't throw
throw up? What? Oh. Um. You okay? Uh, yes. No. Do you want some water? No, I'm fine. I have water. Are you sure you have water? Yes, you bitch ass. Okay, where is it? It's right here, Cooper. It's right fucking here, okay? I'm fine. That's a huge bottle of vodka. Dude, I am literally undergoing an exorcism right now. Stop talking to me. sex with a guy named Mason Birch tonight before I left he goes night Natalie we should do this again sometime he called me Natalie can you believe that Many of them, do you think? No, my name is Natalie. I'm just gonna become a nun, Pete. Hi, um, Miranda, I think Pete's dead. I don't know, I woke up this morning and he was like upside down on the bottom of his tank. No, he's not hibernating. No, not at all. He was like eating and moving around yesterday. I don't know, I think maybe he got like stuck under the turtle dock. Or like he was just like swimming and got tired and drowned. going. I think I'm gonna go on a run. You run? I mean, not really, but I used to play soccer in high school and we had to run a lot. You're not hungover. I mean, I am a little, but I'm not as hungover as you are. Okay, it doesn't mean you should take up running. I think I'll be fine.
that was fast. How'd it go? I'm gonna try again tomorrow. What happened to your shirt? I got some vomit on it. Yours? Yeah, well, it was my vomit. I'm texting Seb about a party tonight. You think you're up for another party? Yeah, it will be. I just gotta sleep, drink some water, maybe jerk off and smoke some weed. Is the party at shit house again? No, it's at jailhouse. Jailhouse? Do you think Will's gonna make it to jailhouse? Should I go to jailhouse? I don't love college parties. Got no friends, it's so lonely. I need love and attention. Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I, I just needed a little breather from, sh from jailhouse. Same. It's a little, it's a little sweaty in there. Totally. <laughs> hey, what are your thoughts on me coming over there and sitting next to you? Yeah. Your thoughts are yeah? No, I was like yeah, you can come sit next to me. Did you see that bottle of wine from the party? No, it's mine, I brought it. I just like having something to hold on to at parties. Yeah, I get that. I never know what to do with my hands at parties. Do you want some? No, no, I'm okay. Thanks. Hey, so where do you see yourself in like 30 to 45 minutes? I don't know. Why? You like wanna hang out? Yeah, I was thinking we could drive to the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon? That seems a little ambitious. No, dude. I'm asking if you wanna have sex with me. I live in Polly. Yeah, I know. What? I live in Polly too. You're my RA. Mountain Hill, right? Yeah. What's your name? Hey, she asked. My name's Cooper. Sorry. Why? Don't be sorry. Okay, I won't be sorry.
Is your room always this clean, or is this like a Saturday thing? Mm. I think this is actually the messiest it's ever been. I usually make my bed every day. Can I uh, have some of that wine? Yeah. You can finish it. I got a bunch of cheap wine today. Are you 21? No, I'm 19. But I have a big ID. I'm 19 too. I just had my birthday like a couple weeks ago. February 11th. Happy birthday. Thanks. How do you get a how do you get a fake ID? It's a whole process. I'll tell you that another time. Okay. Do you want to take your jacket off? Yeah. Oh, sit down. I just uh, Yeah.
Thanks for being so nice. Yeah. Uh, my room is like 100 feet away from your room, so. Totally, um, go if you want, but, um, if you, like, if you want to stay, we can just, like, open a bottle of cheap wine and just, like, drink that till we fall asleep. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, like, not that tired yet, and I think I'd feel weird if I, like, like, I think wine would help me fall asleep. But, like, if you left and I just drank wine alone until I fell asleep, I feel like that would be kind of weird. So you can stay if you want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're going to have to a little bit. No, I'd love to. Okay. okay. It's good. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Yeah. I can Venmo you. It's fine. It's literally like three dollars. It's three dollars. Yeah. Did you get this from Trader Joe's? I did get it from Trader Joe's. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? I don't have a car. You gotta get in front of the car. Thanks for asking me to stay and drink wine with you. My turtle died today. Is that what's supposed to be in that tank on your dresser? Yeah. That sucks. I'm really sorry. Thanks. So you've had like a really sad day. I mean, he's just a turtle. But. Yeah. He's my buddy. I buried him at the top of Mount Gucci. Like in Japan? No, you're thinking Mount Fuji. Mount Gucci is the mountain at the top of campus. I think I'm gonna drink like three glasses of wine before showering in Polly next time. God, that water is so cold. I mean, it's just literally unbearable. I think I'm just gonna stop showering. No, you just gotta keep showering. Eventually you'll get used to it. You've actually gotten used to it? No, but I feel like I've gotten used to the fact that I'm never gonna get used to it. Do you ever like jog or like exercise before you shower? Sometimes. I feel like that helps a ton. Yeah. Do you jog? Sometimes. I also do the elliptical thing in the Burkus gym a lot. Wait, there's a gym in Burkus? Yeah, freshman. Does this feel like your home? What do you mean, like LA? Yeah, like this camp, like college. Um, yeah. I guess it's easier when you have a room to yourself and aren't sharing it with a random person. Do you not like your roommate? I don't not like him. Like, I mean, I didn't hit the jackpot, but he's an okay guy. My roommate freshman year? would only leave the room to eat and go to class and she watched like the entirety of Grey's Anatomy four times. She'd laugh out loud to herself like every 40 seconds so I just never was in my room. See and you're probably fine. Yeah I was. I just have like a chip on my shoulder I think. Like I feel like I'm constantly getting snubbed. Yeah you're not. Nobody owes you anything. I know. I mean, if you think about it, college is and should be the most selfish time of your life. The agenda here isn't to learn how to be a good friend. What is the college agenda? Figure out who you are. See, I get that. I get that. But like, I want other people to help me in that. Like, I want other people to be a part of my identity. Okay, scratch that figuring out who you are separate from other people and learning how to take care of yourself. Yeah, I just don't like college. It's just so jarring to be dropped off in a place where you don't know anybody. 
And at the end of each day, I don't get to go home to the place that I grew up for 18 years and go back to the family that I've known my whole life. I'm like a newborn baby here, but I don't have anybody to hold me and love me unconditionally. You seem like somebody who liked high school way too much. <laughs> Did you say anything today when you buried him? No. You should say something now. Okay. Um, Pete, you are a great turtle. Is that all you want to say? <laughs> I don't know. Pete, you are a great turtle. What else is there to say? I woke up with you every morning. When I buried Pete today, there were so many cars going by, and they were going so fast, and they didn't even care <laughs> that Pete died. And I felt like super lonely, and really rushed too. But now I don't feel rushed, and I don't feel lonely, so thanks. Wait, where are you from? Bay Area. Golly. You and everybody else at this freaking school. <laughs> Haven't found any fellow Texans yet? Uh, I found one, but he's from Austin, so I feel like that doesn't really count. So why'd you come to LA? I like movies, like a bunch. Oh, so are you like a media? Uh... Media arts and culture major, yeah. Cool. So is that just like basically a film major or? Uh, no, not really. It definitely advertises that, but I'm not really sure what it is. Right now, the two classes that I'm taking for the major are Asian Art History and a class called Cyborgs to Siri, colon, Technology and Media. <laughs> Did you ever want to go to, like, a, like a proper film school? Uh, yeah, and I actually applied to a bunch, and I got in some but they're all like really expensive and a bunch of people kept telling me not to go to film school. So now I'm at a liberal arts school studying media arts and culture. <laughs> What's your major? Econ, but I don't want to talk about econ. I want to ask you more questions. Okay. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. But so uh, we had this really nice theater director at my school and she let me put on the play. So my best friend Gray directed it and I acted in it. That's so fun. What did you like to do in high school? I was, uh, I was a big tap dancer. You were a tap dancer? Yeah, for like 15 years. <laughs> you are so good. Yeah, I was a dance teacher there in high school, and I was really close to the woman, Cece, who owned it, so I was there like every day. That's really cool. It was cool. But what wasn't cool was I went there over winter break. Oh my gosh. Wait, sorry, keep going. No, what were you going to say? Well, I just like feel like I, I know what you're about to say, because I went to Green Hill over winter break, and like nobody gave two shits that I was there. Like, not even my theater director. Yeah, I went to my dance studio, and they were, like, treating me like I was just, like, a pet. And Cece didn't know what... I'm just going to throw my jacket on. It's fine, I don't need it. Oh, my God. This is not how you did it. I found a bat. Found a softball. Hit me with your best shot. Now tell me, tell me, tell me, hit me with your best shot. Hold on, I gotta check to make sure no one steals third. Okay.
Is it all clear? All clear. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Charge. Oh my God. Holy hell, Jesus. I'm drunk. Are you okay? Yeah. Just the title of this game is so misleading. The ball is so hard. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Maybe we should switch though. Okay, I'm gonna need a minute to eat my walk-up ritual. All right, here comes the fury. Ow! Oh my God. Are you okay? This is a bad idea. I'm so sorry. Where'd I get you? My leg. Oh. Maybe we should just get out of here. I feel like we're really bad at this. Wait, no, I want to run the bases. That's what I was excited for. Okay. We want a batter. Not a broken ladder. Just throw the ball, loser. All right, here it comes. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's gone. Am I the first person you've had sex with in college? We didn't really have sex. Am I the first person you've been naked with? Yeah. And you're like the second person that I've been naked with in my life. I had a girlfriend in high school and we did it for like three years. Did you break up for college? Yeah. I had a boyfriend too during my senior year. Did you break up as a college? Like as a distance? No, we broke up because I kept cheating on him. Yeah, I feel like that'll do it for most high school relationships. <laughs> I feel like they're pretty fragile. <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, he was a really vapid guy. Like, whenever the topic of race would come up, he'd be like, I'm colorblind, I don't see race. My girlfriend used to work with special needs kids and she used to always come back from working with them and be like, Cooper, they're just like you and me. And I always just wanted to be like, no, dude, they're not at all. <laughs> but uh, speaking of colorblindness, I actually am colorblind, like the inherited condition. Wait, really? Yeah. Me too. What? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Wait, you are? Yeah. You're colorblind? Yeah. That I thought, I thought girls can't be colorblind. No, yeah, it's like rare, but it's like one in every two hundred girls are colorblind. That's crazy. I hate being colorblind. Like I used to never think about it like at all, but I've been thinking about it so much recently, and it like it sucks. I know. Have you like seen those those glasses and like watched those videos? Yeah, like all the time. Do you think you'd ever do it? No. I feel like taking them off would be a total bitch and a half. Yeah, that's what I think. I'd love to see the pink in the sunset though. Hey you two! Hey you two! Yes? I'm gonna need to ask you to get off the field. When are you gonna have to ask us? Yeah, when will that be? Yeah, what are they like? Um, my mom's really nice. She gives me lots of hugs, which I think is why I'm having a tough time at college. Because your mom's not here to hug you? <laughs> yeah. What about your dad? Is he not a big hugger? Um,. No, he was. He just, um, he died when I was like nine years old. That sucks to be nine to. It's fine. It happened when I was nine. Ooh, sorry, no. 
I have the dopest sister. Younger or older? Younger. Same. Mine's a freshman in high school. Mine's a senior. And she's a champ? She's a freaking champ and a half. Oh no. It's closed. Oh no. I thought it was 24 hours. Okay. George with 4.7 stars will be here in 14 minutes. Perfect. So what are your parents like? Um, they're fine. They're parents. That's super boring. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not really true. They suck. It's just that you just told me that your dad died and you're nine, so I was like, Maybe I shouldn't complain about my parents. <laughs> Why do they suck? Um, my dad's just a dud. And then my mom's just kind of like cold and distant. I think she's just like embarrassed about the dud. She chose to be the father of her two daughters. Are they divorced? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a relationship with your dad? Mm mm. I haven't seen him since I was like 15. What? Oh my gosh. That's like some dead dad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He got married last year to this woman, and he didn't even invite us to the wedding. It was like a big wedding too. Like my aunts and uncles and grandparents were all there. Do you ever get like sad about him being a huge dad? Not really. It's like been bad with him for a long time. So I don't really get sad about it. Except sometimes I get like sad for him. I don't know, like maybe that sounds a little conceited, but it's like, my sister and I just kind of grew up to be like dope kids. And he just like doesn't really get to know us or spend time with us. And that just sucks for him. So I literally just found out like this past summer that the pedestrian light, like the person is white and not green. Well, I literally just found that out right now, so. You did? You didn't know? No, wait, it's not green? No, it's not green, it's white. Wait, George, is the pedestrian symbol green or white? I know, it makes no sense.